Good morning. So I slept on it and considered it <coughs> and thought about my options for this. Talked to the owner and I'm just going to have to do a complete teardown. It's just the way we're going to have to go about this. So first things first, let me just go ahead and get these rocker arms out. I've already started to loosen this back cover and it's just a press fit with an o-ring seal. Next thing I'm going to do, here's that screw I was talking about that's really nasty. I am going to liberally put some oil inside this engine. I think that's my course of action. I can kind of hold this engine upright a bit maybe. And I'm going to put 3-in-1 oil in here. And I'm going to let this get in there and then I'm going to go out and heat this engine up. 3-in-1 oil will actually help with penetrating some stuck components and it has a cleaning property. So I'm going to go in there and I'm actually going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lot of 3-in-1 oil in this probably take the glow plug out or at least loosen it and then put a prop on it and spin it over with my electric starter just to get this oil distributed through the engine and then what I'll do is I'll heat this thing up and then we'll start the disassembly from there so I also have <coughs> taken the glow plug out I'm gonna hit all of these fasteners with a little bit of 3-in-1 oil just in case they have any inclination of being stubborn I'm just going to oil up everything it's not going to hurt it and as I heat this engine up this oil will penetrate in there take this carb off also I just have a, looks like that's a Okay, so I've <clears throat> been out, heated this thing up, and I was looking for my screwdriver that I used a few years ago to get one of these off. The kicker, most important thing with removing, trying to remove this screw is, it doesn't really have a standard wide slot either. So I've got this screwdriver that I just kind of shaved or thinned the edge down on. And I think I've got to get maximum penetration into that slot. I think I've got decent penetration. I might file this down just a little bit more. But So I've lubed this, but it looks like it's actually kind of rusty. So I've got some, <clears throat> some CLR here. And I'm just going to kind of drizzle some CLR on this thing and hopefully that'll go in there where the threads are a bit and maybe help keep it from being so seized up All right, so this is heated up let's see how successful I am here okay, finally some success here Oops, I did get it to break free I turned the camera off because it was just taking so long. So see how I'm turning it the opposite direction to get that unscrewed. There's that little bastard. Okay, so with that off, now the rest of the engine can disassembly can begin. So it looks like these rocker arms. 
hold on by a couple of small set screws. Alright, so I got my spring loaded center punch here. See if that will help facilitate moving this shaft. Yep. Pretty much pushed it all the way. So I got our spacer, shaft, our other rocker arm out. Now, let's get that out of there because that's kind of closing up the camera angle. Okay, cool. Look at that. This doesn't look like it's a very high runtime engine. Put screws in one spot here. Okay, so here's the valves. Yeah, this is really a pretty low runtime engine. Looks like there's a shim in here, so I gotta make sure I don't lose that. I don't even think these valves are going to need to be dropped. I mean, I'll clean this whole thing in my ultrasonic cleaner, but I'm not going to take those valves out. Somewhat stuck. So, hopefully this one will fit in here. And what I'm going to do is just put pressure on it and then take it out and probably heat it up. Hopefully this big one has... Maybe it'll just pull right off easily. That's always a plus. That tape is caught it from the back cover. Fasteners are all coming loose fairly easily. They're not giving me any trouble. Okay, so <clears throat> I did have to strike it with a mallet. Heated both sides up. They're kind of tight now. If this had a, a gasket in it, it's yeah, it did. It's going to be destroyed. Tight though. Just going to have to kind of wiggle it fore and aft to get it to come off. Man, my hands just got oily here. Okay, there we go. There's our front housing and our destroyed gasket. Yeah, those bearings just are not very happy. Okay, oops. Here's the inside of this guy. That thing's got, oh man, that's nasty. So the next challenge is behind this connecting rod is another screw there. <sighs> wow. Nothing but challenges with this these engines. Another gasket gone. Okay, so timing wheel. And more bad bearings it looks like. So uh, where do I want to go from here? This is probably the easiest to do. Just go press this out in the Arbor Press. It's got, oh man, I can just feel the layer of rust or something. So these, a lot of these metal parts are going to have to get a CLR bath, clean that rust up. Oh man, that's going to be, that's going to be interesting. Now I think that this thing just pushes straight out. Now that that screw isn't retaining in there anymore, I think this is just a straight push out. But I may need soaking first. 